Facebook Live shortly. Hey, good morning, everybody. Drop off wide sports. Uh, the day after the 4th of July, this is the 5th. Little Weezer. We, here's the thing about Weezer. Weezer's coming to Indy on the 8th. So today's the 5th. The 6th is tomorrow. Uh, the 7th would be Saturday. It's not Sunday, right? Weezer and the Pixies on Sunday. Weezer has a fantastic cover of the great Toto song, Africa. If you've never heard that or haven't heard that, uh, rush to your local outlet, however you uh, get music, and uh, search for Weezer Africa, and you'll thank me later. It is awesome. I'll tell you what, Weezer may be, may be one of the most underrated all-time fun bands that you can think of. These guys are great. Just great. Fun, right? Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Liz Fox. Good morning, Brian. Still haven't dried out from all the sweat yesterday. They're going to sweat again today, too, I think, right? Oh, this is so good. Yeah, I had a great time. I got to thank the Watsons over there. Uh, Jeff and Glenda invited us over. And Zach was over there, invited us to their uh, 4th of July party. We had a great time. So I just kind of... I kind of just threw the kids in the pool, man, and hung out a little bit. So thank you, Jeff. Uh, they're the best neighbors ever. I mean, we really are the best neighbors right over there. Um, so thank you, Jeff and the Watsons, for the fun yesterday. Ryan just said, I saved Yacht Rock Radio to my favorite Chagata. I'll tell you what, Yacht Rock Radio is the most fun to listen to in the summertime ever, man. It is awesome. Jeremy Welliver, good morning to you. Good morning, Heath. Good morning, Chad. Aaron and Greenfield. Aaron still has all 10 digits. Well done. Keep your fingers, guys. Keep your fingers. Um, anyway, I hope everybody had a great and a safe 4th of July. Brian Crow's watching, as always, we're brought to you by Bobcat of Indy. Thank you very much, Bobcat of Indy. Drop off line sports. I don't know if we're going to get the girl out here or not. We're going to try. County Crow's, Rain King. So, anyway... And you're right, Heath, the video to Weezer's Buddy Holly is awesome because they kind of, um, they uh, mix present day and then the um, the Happy Days video where they had the dance contest, remember, and Fonzie was tired, but he had to help Joni win the dance contest. It is outst a outstanding. My face got really more red. Man, red nose here, everybody. Hello. Um. Okay, I'm back at work later on today, 3 o'clock, I'm going to be back, and you know how much stuff I have to go over with you? How much stuff, how many things, tons of Pacers and NBA to go over with you? I'm going to tell you this too, and I know a lot of you don't like it, and that's fine. The World Cup is so fun, I think the World Cup has been awesome, I do. I'm not the biggest soccer fan in the world, but I love the World Cup. I think the World Cup I've been watching for like the last three weeks. Uh, religiously, the Columbia England match was awesome. We absolutely loved it. So I hope you're enjoying that. And if you're not, I understand too. Yeah, I think I got a little bit more sun. I didn't notice that until I came in here. But yeah, I got a little bit more sun yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, I had a lot anyway. Steve Reed, good morning in Iowa. Iowa, of course, is the site of the IndyCar race coming up this weekend as IndyCar is back at it. I got to thank Tony Donahue. Tony did a great job over the course of the last. Uh, ten days or so I've been off. Actually, it's been seven seven days when it comes to, um, you know, just like Monday through Friday, actual radio time. But good morning, Michael. But uh, Tony did a great job. I know Tony had help with uh, Chris Hagen that Monday, that first Monday I was gone. I know Jeff Rickard's been in there. Thank you, Jeff, for that. But uh, it has been awesome. Good morning, Corey Hall. Tony did a great job, but I cannot wait to get back later on today and... You know, that, that fun will probably, like an hour, I'll just start drilling stuff, and like the first hour will be great, and then the four o'clock hour, I'll go, hey, <laughs> all right, we really are in July where there's nothing going on, right? And you're right, Corey, Tony was awesome last week. He was. Um, so yeah, about four o'clock, I'll go, hey, wait a minute, we're in that uh, really boring downtime of the year. Reds went again last night. I was disappointed the night before they lost in extra innings in a game they should have won. But the Reds went again. The Reds are actually playing pretty good baseball. 
They get the Cubs. They get an off day today, and then they have the Cubs coming up at Wrigley this weekend, which should be a fantastic time. Um, yeah, back to reality today, Josh. There's no doubt about that. Brandon Wolf, good morning to you. We are back and ready to rock and roll. Colleen, good morning to you, too. Um, Steve says the IndyCars at Newton put on one heck of a show. You know, I've heard really good things about it. Tony's been there. I have not been up there, but I've heard good things. Um, what should we be talking about today? What do you think? Anything come to mind today? Just besides all this uh, NBA, like I said, I'm going to go just drilling stuff for an hour and then get to the 4 o'clock hour and go, yeah, you know what? This time of year really is kind of boring. That's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, Corey would love to see another sweep of the Cubs. I would love to see another sweep of the Cubs myself, my man. I would. All right, you guys daring me to turn it to Yacht Rock Radio. You guys got that bad boy presetted right next to 1070 The Fan from 3 until 6 every day. Uh, Bob wants to know if the Pacers are done with deals. I don't think they are. Oh, Yacht Rock never disappoints. Never. I dare you. I challenge you to go through, hear this song, and not turn it up. Oh, that's so good. Summer Breeze. Good morning, Chad. Uh, Cubs with the Reds this time. Reds been playing good baseball, though. They have. Hmm. Tucker had a good game last night. Tucker threw out. They'll strike him out, throw him out last night, which was awesome. Summer Breeze. Seals and Crofts, everybody. Yes. Uh, Corey says, are you going to do all Yacht Rock re-entries today? I don't know. It's a good thought, though. Rick Clark, good morning. Bill, you're right. Seals and Cross on the radio right now. Yacht Rock Radio. I think this might be a good Yacht Rock re-entry day. I do. I think I need a little Yacht Rock re-entry. This is so good. Um, all right. So later on today at 3, I'll be back. And uh, we'll be talking. There's Claire the bird over there on the porch. Come on, Claire. I thought actually Lainey would be out here, but uh, I don't think she's going to be coming out this morning. Um, okay, so we got that. A little Pacers, a little NBA. I've yet to even talk about the whole changing of the landscape of the NBA. We'll still do that today. Jim Abel, thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Um... Oh, what else? I had something else on my mind. I completely lost my train of thought for it. So there's an Andy Griffith show, not a marathon. I think TV Land and uh, the set on Sundance have it on Thursday morning. So there's some pretty good Andy Griffith episodes going on right now. Uh oh. Yes. Of course you do. Good morning, Jimmy Goat. Animal. Serious XM's Yacht Rock Radio. Uh oh. Who sings it? Let's go. Who sings it? Turn it up. I am the eye in the sky looking at you. I can read your mind. What project is it? <laughs> Alan Parsons Project. Well done. Um, he says, makes me think. Summer Breeze does make you think of when Mitch was getting some, if you know what I mean. Mitch. Mitch Kramer was getting some. Remember the the Maverick was parked and they had to blanket sunrise after the big party. Dazed and confused. Well done. You guys like your Alan Parsons project. I can't blame you. I cannot blame you. Woo! Little Alan Parsons project. Um, okay, we got that. Little baseball. Hey, two things. Um, I've got the second Backyard Bourbon broadcast we'll be choosing coming up here in the next couple of days. That is coming up at the end of this month. That's the second of two. And Ride to the Reds is coming back at the end of this month, too. The Ride to the Reds game this year is the Reds and the Cardinals from Great American Ballpark. So, how about that? Reds, Cardinals, end of this month, Great American Ballpark, and I'll tell you how you can go. Yeah, it's not Alan Carpet Project. That's why I call Kurt Wright Alan Carpet of Golden Black. Uh, Bob says, I watched the original Jaws movie last night, probably the first time in over 20 years. Great movies, especially the era. You know what? What's so funny? I'll give you a great example. Colin Cowherd always 
I always said this when I remember hearing him on ESPN Radio, how stupid it was to be scared of Jaws because the shark was so fake. Hold on. When I was when I was little, there was nothing fake looking about that shark. It looked pretty damn real to me. Now again, I'm five, six, seven, eight years old, right? The other part of it is what it does, it doesn't matter. After that movie came out, it did not matter what body of water you entered. You were wondering if you're gonna have issues with jaws. You were looking for jaws. Seriously. Pool, pond, lake, ocean, especially, it did not matter. That's Oh, you know what? I mean, it created a fear of, okay, what's beneath me that I can't see? It's great theater of the mind, man. That's what movies are all about, right? That's the ultimate scare right there. It's not what you see, but it's what you think, right? That's what Jaws did. That's what Spielberg did that was so great with Jaws. I mean, it abs- it made you think. You, ha- you talked yourself into being scared. It wasn't what you saw. I always thought that was the case, but anyway, um, I love Jaws. It's actually on my top 10 list of movies that I always watch. All right, now the list has expanded a little bit. Uh, Caddyshack, obviously, I forgot to put that in there, but Caddyshack is in there. Um, I have new one to the list. I always watch Catch Me If You Can with, um, with Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio, and I always watch now Gran Torino, at least most of Gran Torino. I think Gran Torino is a pretty good film. Um, somebody asked me about prison flicks the other day. Now, there are two different angles here. The prison flicks, like Chained Heat and stuff, is one category. Uh, but prison flicks like Papillon, Brubaker, Lockup. I mean, Shawshank's well above all these other ones. I mean, Papillon's really good, don't get me wrong. But um, so is Brubaker. Papillon, Brubaker, Lockup, Tango and Cash is kind of a prison flick, right? Uh, the in- Innocent Man with Tom Selleck's pretty good, right? So, bye, Colleen. Thanks for watching. Matt Anderson, thank you for being in here, too. So, anyway, a couple of thoughts. I need a good top five today. Hold on. Let me see what we got here. Let me see if I can find something here to give us a top five ranker. Ranker yesterday was pretty good. I'd invite you to check it out. Um, Jeremy Goat says, how about the classic Kiss meets the Phantom in the Park? Yes, that was pretty bad. It was so bad it was really good. Uh-oh. Jim Croce, everybody. Don't mess around with Jim. Emmanuel Wilson, hey, brother. Um, how can I get you a picture, St. Baldrick's event, you and your daughter? Uh, oh, man, thank you. DJ Emmanuel's awesome, by the way. You guys want to do top five Weezer since we talked about that? Hey, Emmanuel, send that to JMV at 1070thefan.com, would you? JMV at 1070thefan.com, and I'll get those. Thank you, buddy. You guys want to do a top five Weezer? All right, hold on a second. Top five Weezer. Um, number one, I think it's just because it's their first. I, listen, I, you got to add Africa now, the remake to the list. I'm going to put Africa number three. Uh, Undone the Sweater Song, number one. Say It Ain't So, um, number two. Africa number three. Um, buddy Holly, number four. And... Hash pipe number five. Top five Weezer songs, right? Hey, here's another show that's coming up on Sunday, too, because I'm going to go. I've never seen The Pretenders before. So Chris, Chrissy Hine and The Pretenders are uh, coming to Indy on Sunday. It's funny. If you listen to XM33, which is New Wave, you will hear these Pretenders songs that you go, yeah, you know what? I remember hearing that, but you really don't know what they are. I mean, it's pretty awesome. We might have to do a top five pretenders coming up tomorrow. Just maybe. Bill Kurtz says, Croce is another singer who died way too soon. I believe if memory serves, Jim Croce died 1973 in a plane crash in Louisiana. No doubt. No doubt. He's part of that. You had Jim Croce, early 70s group, James Taylor, Harry Chapin, and uh, who's the nutbag in in that mix too? I always forget his name. Um... Anyway, yeah, Croce, Taylor, Chapin, and then somebody else. Yeah, I'm not going to put Island in the Sun in the top five, though, Sean. You can, though. That's good. That's good. I go hash pipe number five, I think. All right. Croce, we like. Let's see. Ooh, expose. Good thumbs. Point of no return. Hey, the 80s had some really interesting slash bad stuff. 
at the end of the 80s that I still love. Um, Bob Chambers says, Karen Waldrop, country music, great voice, playing in Noblesville Amphitheater. That's July the 7th, I think, maybe the 6th. Karen Waldrop. We'll check for Karen Waldrop, right? Um, what was the other thing I was thinking about? Did anybody go to Westfield yesterday? So my friend Barry Strasser, who's an Eastern Green grad and a great dude, plays drums for a band called, um, no, I can't think of anything, the Jason Lee McKinney Band. The Jason Lee McKinney Band played at 6.30 yesterday up in Westfield. Oh. Woo! How about mixing all these great artists together? One of the great albums of all time, Asia, from the 80s. Ooh, this is good. A little appropriate, too, with the heat going on. The heat of the moment. Oh, you, With this, you had what? You had great music. You had a mixing of talents. You know, yes, so on, so forth. So Asia. And then you had great album art. We miss great album art, don't we? We do. Um, I did like Nielsen. Um... Nelson? No, it's not Nelson I'm trying to think of. It's somebody else. Dang it. I can't think of it. Sometimes I hear music, I can't think of what I want to think about, you know? All right. There we go. Later on today, 3 o'clock, I'm back. we got plenty of NBA Pacers, um, stuff I haven't talked about yet. I'll work in some baseball. I love your thumbs. Thank you very much. Drop Off Wide Sports brought to you by Bobcat of Indy here every morning around 8.30 or around 8.40. You guys are absolutely awesome. Um, keep in mind, I got Dave Matthews Band tickets later on today, too. So be ready for Dave Matthews Band tickets. I will be giving away. You guys are awesome. Bobcat and Andy, thank you very much. I'll talk to you today for the first time in a couple of weeks at 3.